What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ramblin' Garage. Today we're gonna do something a little different again. Um, I have recently gotten into something that I think is pretty exciting and I think a lot of you car guys will think are, is pretty exciting as well. Um, if we look over on the table here, there's some RC car stuff. Um, another one down there on the ground that needs some fixing yet, which we're gonna do in this video. Uh, we'll take a look at both of them. Um, but before that, this is going to be a little bit of a, a vlog style, I guess. We're going to, we need to clean this place. So we look around in here. Um, there's that, which you guys will be seeing in a future video. All that's obviously a mess. That's a mess. This place is nasty. So we're going to take about all of probably 30 seconds and clean this place up. And uh, we'll be back to you with the, uh, the RC cars. So see you in a second. All right, guys, so i got to clean it up. Uh, still got some cleaning up in here to do, but I've been really slacking, and I hate a dirty garage, despite always making this place dirty. Um, so we're going to pick up over here. But, uh, yeah, I got the toolbox all organized. I always, I always like when I get all the sockets and stuff in here. This is my favorite door just because it's uh, shiny, I guess. But I do have some missing sockets. I need to buy some new ones maybe on a Black Friday. Um, go up there. And then I like this too, just all of my organized, semi-organized stuff, um, kind of by shelf. So like fluids, detailing stuff, and uh, oil and all that. So this cabinet is still working pretty good. I like it. Um, love the toolbox and love the bench. So that's kind of, uh, that's a little bit of that. Let's, uh, let's go down over here. Let's play around with these guys. Let me show you guys what I have actually. Um, this is a Red Cat Racing Volcano, uh, one tenth scale. I did upgrade it to a just stock from uh, Hobby Wing. This is a, oh gosh, I forget what the, the motor even is. Um, 4200, 3200, I don't know, I'll fix it. I'll put something in the video right now so you guys can tell. But uh, it's kind of going for about 60 mile an hour on this thing. Um, it has a brass gear on there that's getting chewed up right now. There might be a meshing issue. I, I don't know. Uh, I thought I meshed it pretty well, but maybe not. Um, so we're actually going to replace this gear today. I believe there's a 19 tooth in there. And if we look over here, I ordered a uh, 21 tooth. So we're going to toss that in there. This is on, uh, I do have a, a 2S, uh, a 2 cell and a 3 cell. Uh, on a 3 cell, this thing's almost undrivable at so speeds, but uh, it does move pretty good. Down here we have a uh, Traxxas Slash. Um, it has the, the Raptor body over there. And actually this is the, uh, the Red Cat Racing Volcano body. Um, so that is the Raptor body. This is also one ton scale. Uh, it's got a castle sensor brushless system in here. Um, I don't know which setup specifically that is. Uh, but I got this thing. It had a couple seized axles. I was missing an axle up here. Uh, I replaced both of the back ones. I was also missing one of the uh, the hex nuts, uh, one of the hubs. So uh, I got that replaced as well. Uh, today we're going to put in the rest of these axles and uh, new bearings up front, as you can kind of see there. This one is run without a bearing. So we're going to put uh, we're going to end up putting those in, uh, and then we'll give these things a, a first. I've never driven this one. I have driven this one, uh, but we'll give them a little rip and uh, see how they work. So. Let's, uh, I'm going to put this one aside right now, actually, because this one works as it is. Just needs the, uh, the gear replaced. We're going to pick that guy up, replace those axles, and uh, put some bearings in it. Might also be worth noting that I replaced the, uh, the original 11-tooth um, gear on here with a 9-tooth. This is overheating, apparently, uh, said the previous owner. So we just did that. Um, as you can see, there's the 11-tooth. Got the 9-tooth in there now. Uh, it'll probably slow it down a little bit, but at least it won't overheat and we can uh, have some fun. So let's uh, let's dig into this thing and get this done. Anybody 
So we finally got this thing on four wheels. I haven't seen this thing um, sit on four wheels like that yet, so I'm pretty excited. Um, just want to try it out. We're going to just hang the, uh, the switch off. I think it's on. I haven't even tried this before, so I have the, the transmitter and all that. We're going to put the body back on this thing and we'll drop it on the floor. I uh, don't have a ton of room, but we'll just uh, cruise it around for right now, see how it does, and then we'll play with it uh, outside in the daylight tomorrow. Alright, so that thing, is probably hard to see, is pretty fun, but we'll play with that outside tomorrow and get a better idea of how it, uh, how it runs and everything. Uh, we're going to hop back over here to the Red Cat. Uh, this doesn't need a whole lot. I do have an issue with the uh, servo. Whenever I connect my remote, it always tries to uh, turn the wheel away left, so i got to sort that out. Uh, but the major thing is just the, uh, the pinion gear here. So, we're actually, we're going to pull this one out right now and put that, uh, what did I say, 21 tooth? I'll put this 21 tooth in there right now. All right, so we got that new uh, 21 tooth pinion in here. I uh, got the, the mesh all set. Uh, I'm going to give it a little garage rip again, and then we'll take these things outside tomorrow. Uh, I got three cell in here, which is kind of crazy. On the, these are older, not so grippy tires, and the garage is slippery as is. So uh, yeah, and I don't have a, a battery hold down for this one yet. I gotta make something for that, or just order one. So uh, I'm gonna throw the body on there so you can take a look at it, and we'll do a little quick garage rip, and then we will see you guys tomorrow. So there they are guys, the uh, Red Cat Racing Volcano and the uh, Traxxas Slash. I really like the uh, the scale on the Traxxas there, but definitely fun cars for different purposes. Uh, this is something very new to me, so I'm kind of learning as I go, but uh, they're pretty straightforward and I feel like a lot of you guys, if you're into this thing, you've been into it for a long time. Um, but I just wanted to share that because I thought they're kind of cool. Uh, we might be doing more videos of them here and there on the channel, uh, depending on how they do and what we do with them. and if we get more or whatever. So uh, be sure to let me know below if you guys enjoy this kind of video, if you wanna see more of the cars, um, shoot for top speed runs, uh, you know, jumping stuff, just uh, thrashing them, whatever. Um, they're fun and I will do more videos on them if you guys want them. So thanks again for watching. As always, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.